Live from ABC7, this is News at 6. You know, surviving breast cancer is not just about enduring the physical toll. Many survivors will tell you that it's a mental and emotional battle as well. You don't remember what it's like to be normal, believe it or not, even though it's only been two years. I didn't know what it felt like. But next, get more on how a tattoo is an empowering survivors to feel normal again. And the Southwest Florida woman doing it for free. Then stick around as we get you more in a live interview with a breast surgeon. She's going to talk about the physical and emotional impact breast cancer has on women. Breast cancer survivors were recently featured on the New York Fashion Week runway, showing off their scars to shine a light on the permanent and painful reminder of what they've overcome after mastectomies and reconstructive surgery. In tonight's special report, ABC 7's weekend anchor Emily Burris is getting us more on how one Southwest Florida woman is using her time and talents to help some of those survivors heal. Most of the time, Permanent makeup specialist Marie Benson uses this tattoo gun, creating beautiful features. Things like eyeliner, eyebrows, even lipstick. We're doing like a photorealistic tattoo. But some appointments are much more than cosmetic. People have different favorite body parts or body parts that their self-esteem is tied to. For a lot of women, it's their chest. For breast cancer survivors, so everyone gets the same like surgical pen. It becomes a place of painful memories. They will look in the mirror and still see this scar. Hi. How did you heal from last time? Mary Jane Ramirez won her battle, but says those scars bring back so much. For me, going through these last two years of the treatments and trying to heal, both emotionally and physically. Every day getting out of the bathtub and looking in the mirror, you're constantly reminded. The single mother of three had to fight after losing her sister to the disease. Over the past two years, she's undergone a double mastectomy and hysterectomy. After her reconstructive surgery, her surgeon suggested areola tattoos. At first, she resisted, saying there's a stigma that can come along with it. I've had um, doctors tell me that I should just be grateful that I'm cancer free and that I should just leave my body alone that it's been through enough trauma. This month she went to Benson who offers the work pro bono. When I've had breast cancer it's really financially devastating no matter what type of income or lifestyle you're in. I'm just happy to do it. I get a lot out of it too. Ramirez says she had no idea just how life-changing it would be. You don't remember what it's like to be normal believe it or not even though it's only been two years. I didn't know what it felt like. She says the first time she saw herself in the mirror, she couldn't stop the tears. I felt empowered and I felt somewhat normal. Having the tattoo changes that focal point. Like after everything that's happened and everything that's gone on, I was able to... A lot of people don't even see their scar anymore. Feel like a woman again. Something the rest of the world may never see, but to these women, I'm very happy. It makes all the difference. I don't think Marie understands the gift that she can give. This last part seems to bring full closure. It really does. Benson won't see her patients until they're cleared by a doctor. She says each tattoo is different. It's customized to each woman's body and skin tone. In the three years since she started in permanent makeup, she's helped more than 100 survivors with areola tattoos. In the studio, Emily Burris, ABC7. All right, thanks, Emily. Let's get you more now on the impact of these tattoos and other reconstructive techniques that they can really have. Yeah, we are joined right now by Dr. Elizabeth Arguelles, who is from 21st Century Oncology. She's a breast surgeon. You know, you hear so often about survivors beating breast cancer, but there's more than just surgery. What does the entire process entail? Often patients have to have surgery. Sometimes they need to have chemotherapy. Sometimes they have to take medication that may actually last for years. They may need radiation. There's a lot involved. And you're dealing with survivors. And all cancer is tough, but for women, this is especially tough. You're kind of losing your femininity. So talk about how the emotional toll it's taking on them. A lot of women, it's very rough. Uh, you're, you're taking a part of their femininity away is what they feel. If they can have surgery that allows them to have an appropriate reconstruction and the shape of the breast can be saved, whether it's through reconstruction with an implant or during their lumpectomy, a lot of them are very, very grateful. 
one of the great things about technology and research and development is that we are always finding new ways to do things better. What are some of the things that have been progress in your field recently? Well, the amazing thing is now we can sometimes do the mastectomy and leave the nipple and areola in place. That's called a nipple sparing mastectomy. So through the hidden scar program of, for which I'm certified, we can do this mastectomy through an incision on the lower portion of the breast um, and leave the nipple in place. We can also do lumpectomies through the areola, through the lateral border of the breast, the side or underneath, and move tissue to make the breast look how it looked when we started. That makes all the difference in the world Absolutely. when they're healing, right? Absolutely. Well, I'm sure a lot of you have a lot of questions for Dr. Aguilas, and she's sticking around to answer your questions on Facebook Live. Emily will be there in just a few minutes, so head to our Facebook page, ABC7 Southwest Florida, and join in on the conversation. Thank you so much. Thank you.